Good evening and thanks so much for joining us. I'm Jennifer Abney. Almost 40 years of rumor and mystery, the bell in the well has been identified. She is Louise Virginia Peterson Flesher. Two teenage girls found her remains in an abandoned sister near McKinney Creek Road in Lawrence County, Ohio, in April of 1981. 13 News reporter Shannon Litton is working for you on how a nonprofit group in California helped Lawrence County investigators help solve the mystery of her identity. Almost an urban legend here in the tri state. I mean, I didn't grow up here in the tri state, and I knew about this case even before I moved here as this urban legend of the bell in the well. 38 years is how long it took to identify Louise Virginia Peterson Flesher as the bell in the well. Investigators believe she was around 65 years old when she was strangled to death and her body was dumped in a cistern. Decades passed without an identification, even though twice in the intervening years, forensic specialists created models of what they believed the victim looked like. But in 2017, the DNA Doe Project got involved to help investigators with the Lawrence County Coroner's Office identify Flesher, but they faced lots of challenges. The DNA was degraded, it was low level, and it was contaminated with bacteria. 30 volunteers, 10,000 hours, and 14 months later, forensic genealogy matched the DNA from one of Flesher's teeth to her daughter. It's like the whole group was on fire. It was, yes, yes, we did it. Since February of 2017, the DNA Doe Project has solved 12 cases, five of those right here in Ohio. And once they had a name, they found out more about her. We got her high school yearbook from 1934 in Wyoming. How cool is that? A yearbook that a volunteer working the case was able to buy off of eBay. I was really excited to know that we've positively made an identification and able to hopefully begin another investigative process into how she got there. Using cutting edge technology like DNA, and older methods like genealogy trees. And putting those two together to come up with modern day answers. In Ironton, I'm Shannon Litton, 13 News, working for you. Absolutely fascinating science there. Dr. Fitzpatrick asked those that take genealogy tests to download their data and upload it to GEDmatch to that website and opt in so that they're able to use this DNA bank to help identify other people. You can check out the full presentation from this morning's news conference. Just head over to our website, wwktv.com, and click on this story.